Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Health Talk. I am your host, Dr. Niru Prasad, with my background in pediatrics, emergency medicine, affiliated with Henry Ford Health System, St. Joe, Oakland, and Beaumont. The theme of my health talk today is autism spectrum disorder. I'm going to talk to you, share with you some slides about this term autism in children and what is autism in children and what are the autism spectrum disorders. So I'm going to talk to you in, in each couple of slides and then I will, at the end, I will, I will I share with you the, the bibliography that I have in, included my talk from. So now first, define autism. What is autism? Autism or an autism spectrum disorder. This is the most simplified as ne the neurodevelopmental disorder in children which is characterized by social interaction and repetitive restricted behavior. The so now the social interaction and the repetitive behavior, these are two separate groups. Most common the symptoms in autism spectrum disorder, they include uh, limited eye contact, facial expression not, not so good. They adhere to a specific routine pattern. No response in the babies, it is very important to accept, to recognize the fact that they will not respond to the loud noises or their, or their name. Causes of, there are different causes of this autism spectrum disorders and and it has been classified linked to the genetic variation however the mechanism the exact mechanism what makes a child autistic is, is still unknown so what are the causes the genetic factor it plays a very important role what happens, you know, later on, I will show you the picture of the brain. The abnormal genes are transmitted from the parents. So, and they are transmitted to their, to their babies. It, it is very hard in back in back in earlier age, you know, we, I used to see a lot of kids with this kind of issue you know, working at the, at the pediatrics clinic, at the, at, at the major children's hospital, very hard for me. It was very hard for us to differentiate. What is it? Is it really autism or it is other associated variants? Because the genes are transmitted from the parents to their children. So, there are a lot of researches have been going on and they have determined the fact that depending upon how bad is the genes, like the genes, if they are transmitted from a twin, monozygotic twins, then the, both the twins will have the same symptoms or whether it is it is it is digigotic di, 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 twin, the problem the problem is there are other associated symptoms whose symptoms resemble the same like and like and those those neurodevelopmental disorder include fragile X syndrome, Rett syndrome, prader willi syndrome. And so these are the genetic uh, abnormalities. They are present in, in those patients who are termed as autism, but they are not autism. They are other neurologic disorder. So what are the factors that are 
causing this abnormal genetic transformation. There are certain environmental factors such as for the mother complication during pregnancy, medication, any kind of postpartum defects and environment pollutants such as carcinogens, they all increase the risk of genetic abnormalities that leads to the spectrum disorder. Researchers are continually trying to find, conduct better investigation, but so far there is no definite cause, no definite root factors has been documented that associated with autism. So now, what are the other risk factors? What are the conditions? I used to see kids with the Down syndrome, Tourette syndrome, and their symptoms, if you look one side, autistic child, and you look on the other side, kids with those documented syndrome, more or less they are same. So basically the risk factors include older parent, certain genetic conditions in the, in the parents, complications during pregnancy, a premature birth, birth rate, maternal history of diabetes, and also it has been documented high level of stress during pregnancy predisposes to this genetic variation. So now, genetics, like I said before, genes, genetics, play a very significant role in children, and the severity, the severity of the syndrome depends upon, it could be mild, moderate, and severe. Mild is just if a few abnormal genes are transmitted to the brain, and mostly the cerebellum area is the first area that is that has a growth in the in the fetus and the newborns so mild is when a few, only a few bad genetics go moderate m more and in the severe cases severe cases there are most of the genes affected by affected affected by the brain, and they cause the severe symptoms of, of, uh, of autism. So early, what are the early, what are the signs? What are the early features? Signs can be seen, you know, as early. The signs of autism, it can be seen as early as nine months after birth. However, diagnostic evaluation, further modalities, modalities have accepted, have come to the conclusion that 18 months, by the 18 months of age, age, that there is a diagnosis can be established of the most severe cases, which is a real autism child, to the mild cases, which includes the spectrum disorder. So now that spectrum is strongly characterized by two, two features. There are social communication interaction and they are restrictive or restrictive or the behavior, repetitive behavior. The social communication, like I mentioned before, a white, no eye contact, no response to the name. This is in a, in a little bit older children, like a year or 18 months. A limited facial exp expression. They don't show any interest in the surrounding. Their speech is delayed. They has trouble starting or continuing and difficulty recognizing the body language and the expression. This is so sad. What, what are the repetitive behaviors? There is a repetition of the words or phrases that goes after 18 months onward in the toddlers or young kids. Repetitive movement, flapping hand, rocking, shaking, abnormal fixation on certain objects or activity, 
and they are disturbed these kids they are cute looking kids they are normal looking kids they are disturbed by a minor changes in their pattern of routine like and also a specific pref preference to certain food toys or in or any details so those are the early the clinical feature here is a child who has a limited eye contact his repetitive body movement does not respond to the loud sound and delayed in frequent babbling the older children as as they grow older they have a delayed cognitive and learning skills or they are inattentive so then later on i will describe what are the older children's manifestations are the signs so how do you make the diagnosis before i go to the diagnostic tools there is just one picture i want to project and this is the signs of signs of autism in different age group it has been all mentioned in the bibliographies and which i'm going to include it at the end so now what are the diagnostic tools that we use the more so these diagnostic tools and symptoms they also overlap with other disorders such as attention deficit disorder so many children do not sometimes do not receive a full diagnosis until they reach the adolescence or adults because they are put in the group that attention deficit disorder so there are several di diagnostic tools that have been developed and the details are in the american academy of pediatrics the cdc and more so what is a develop diagnostic to developmental mon monitor this is an active this is an active and continuous process of observing evaluating a child's development in terms of skill acquisition learning social interaction and physical coordination these are this should be done by the pediatrician at the pediatric office and if there is any lag behind then there should be refer to a developmental special pediatrician if a child has delay in reaching certain developmental goal like i said before diagnosis and analysis can be open to determine if the delays are associated with autism spectrum disorder there are screening tools such as asq which is age and stage questionnaire stat stat stands for screening tool for autism in toddlers and peds peds that is parents evaluation of developmental status these are the different ways of assessment but the result can indicate the signs and symptoms and these are available at the pediatrician's office now very important is dsm5 which stands for the diagnostic and statistic manual of mental disorder now this is just so that we know this is the standard criteria that is published by american psychiatric association apa that specialist use to help an official diagnosis the dsm5 it provides specific and clear details organized in two main criteria so what are those two main criteria the two main criteria are persistent deficit in social communication and social interaction and restriction on repetitive pattern of behavior this is from the autism research institute and that describes what is the mild form moderate and the severe form there are modified checklist for autism in children 
that helps the role of pediatrician in, in diagnosing autism. Any children with suggestive symptoms of delayed speech or hearing according to the age, they should be referred to a developmental behavioral pediatrician. Further legislation and committing on children according to the Academy of Pediatrics with disabilities have described there are current tools according to the age as a method of diagnosis. Social workers and behavioral therapists also help in the further management. What is the role of social worker and the therapist? The social workers, along with pediatrician, they engage themselves in research, practice, education, and support the families and the communities. The behavioral management therapy, what do they do? They try to reinforce the normal behavior according to the age, following the guidelines, guidelines listed by the Academy of Pediatrics and Psychology. The role of psychologists is very important since they can assess the areas of concern, strength, and recommend treatment accordingly. Several studies have established the intensive long-form therapy that improves the outcome for the children. So this is a picture of the of a child who has a lining up of the object, and this could be suspicious, just an indicator of autism. Next slide, please. So what are the treatment and therapies? Uh, there is a lot of role, a significant role of pediatric neurologists because they are going to differentiate between it is a, a autism spectrum or it is some other kind of genetic abnormality. Treatment and therapy, there is absolutely no cure for this. As a result, the treatment and therapies are targeted at what, what are the role of the treatment? Number one, to reduce the progression, reduce the progression of this syndrome, of the symptoms also, so the children can lead a normal adult life. And autism spectrum, dis autism spectrum disorder, they can be seen like, like I said before, varying degree of severity and affects individual different. Therefore, the treatment plans involves role of the neurologist, the psychiatrist, therapies and intervention, and the medication. What is the role of therapy and intervention? Social skill training, it helps children improve their, their ability to navigate a social situation. Speech and lang language therapy, very important, improves the speech pattern, and the understanding of the language so they can function well at the school. Occupational therapy that addresses the skills that an individual have so he can live independent. Cognitive behavior therapy that is very important. Cognitive behavioral therapy, learning and achieving the agency over connections between the thoughts and the feeling. What somebody has the thoughts and what are the feeling? And accordingly, what are their reactions and the behavior? Special education. It is important to know that these the autist, autism children, they are mentally okay. They do not experience any intellectual deficit but they do have a delay in the learning. Physical therapy, very important. It improves the control over the repetitive movement. Now, when I went through the research over the medication, medication modalities, 
so far there is no definite medications that have come up to treat this condition but only two medications are approved by the FDA for treating and these medication are treat the irritation irritation and the aggressive behavior in, in these children the other medications can be taken to reduce the anxiety, depression, and the poor focus. It is important to note here that the medications, they all have a different effect, which is based upon the individual taking them. So always consult the health professional, the neurologist, psychiatrist before what medications they are going to take. The two antipsychotic medications that are FDA approved are risperidone and, and eripiprazole. These are FDA approved. I do not want to go through the details of this medication because this is an entirely different chapter. It will be included in the bibliography. Anxiety. The kids are anxiated, the, the, the schoolers, and when they become adolescent, go to the, also, they, when they go to adult, they have anxiety. So what do we give for anxiety? The SSRIs. Now, another group of stimulant is the Adderall hyperactive behavior, attention deficit disorder, Adderall, these are prescribed. But before somebody gets to the, all this medication, it is always, always useful to talk to their, to their treating physicians, their, their sub pediatrician, their psychologist for the further evaluation and what treatment is the best. When I was doing the research studies of about the treatment, recently they have come up with an one IV medication. Not much, this is still ex experimental, and they are trying it in different institutions, like the, in the Baltimore, like in the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, other major hospitals. There is a trial going on with an IV magic medication, and that is given only once, only once, once a month. Nobody knows how it is going to work, but the experiments have been going on. So, in other ones, I have shared with you some some questions, some definition about the autism and the other related conditions that has been included in the autism spectrum disorder. Also, some of the symptoms of autism spectrum disorder, they go with the other, with the other uh, syndrome also, like Prader-Willi syndrome, the mongoloids, and more. And, uh, and it is hard to differentiate. Before it was before it was easy, but now, you know, since more and more researches are being done, they have been they have been able to differentiate the different conditions that that resemble like autism, but they are not. So treatment of therapy like I said before, the antipsychotic anxiety and the stimulant, new drugs has been trying, and the new experimental medication is the IV injection once a, once a month. So in summary, just think, child is born with an abnormal behavior, abnormal abnormal look and this is one of the uh, this is one of the of the like i said before it is a, it is a spectrum disorder and these children have neurodevelopment delay and their syndromes depends at their symptoms signs 
their their progression depends upon whether they have inherited mild genes mild defective genes from their parents moderate or severe the severe form of it is is you know the severe form of it you know that has more and more complications and modal different modalities of treatment for them so the diagnostic tools mostly like i said before the autism diagnostic interview and they have been revised autism diagnostic observation that is the a dose j the childhood autism rating scale Gilliam autism rating scale. This is another interesting one, and they are all described in the in the bibliography website www.richd.nih.governor. We, like I said before, these kids are cute. They are normal looking. They have a normal. They have a normal function. Normal. They look normal. They are cute. The only thing, the earlier the diagnosis is is made on them, a proper treatment can be can be can be instituted with this kid. And also, and and also, just the which where do they go? What is the follow up of them? So I like uh, this was the summary. This was the summary of this condition, which is called autism, autism spectrum disorder. How the symptoms of autism disorder resemble the other syndromes like Prader-Willi syndrome, Asperger syndrome, and how uh, how a separation can be made about the other one. Most important being the attention deficit disorder, because the treatment modalities is a little bit different. Like attention deficit disorder, there are different kind of drugs to to calm down. So in a, and I will I will share with you all the bibliographies that that all the sites that I have gathered all my information about this proper about this term the autism spectrum disorder. Until I see you guys again, I want everybody, my viewers to have a safe summer and the spring. And I'd like to thank our producers, our cameramen, for letting me produce this, this video. Thank you again.